Hello everybody, welcome to the 1CNC tutorial on Z level finishing. As you can see on the screen the uh, where we roughed out with the Z level roughing and what I want to do is put a Z level finish. So if I just delete that operation just so we can show you. Select yes and what I want to do is create um, Z level finishing. Select OK. Um, 10 millicutter, tool number 2, speeds and feeds etc. Uh, 5, 1, next, vertical approach, I want to climb mill, um, I can also come in at an angle of a, a radial approach, so I can come in round the profile and then come back out again, um, but in this instance I'm using a vertical approach, uh, constant step over 0.5, uh, leave for finish, nothing, next, find any flat areas which means just find the lowest point of that surface this surface here select next and extent box normal next finished okay you can see it's uh, gone down there and if I just put the back plot on the screen for a minute but can you see how coarse this is across here it's bigger step over and it gets shallower the more steeper the angle well in one CNC if we edit the operation select next 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 because we told it to come out a constant uh, 0.5 so as soon as it gets out for that distance so we can actually use maximum step over so if I just said point 0.2 select next uh, next and by the way when I'm explaining about fine flat areas uh, all it's doing is finding the lowest point on the just press cancel let's see if I can just zoom into here okay because we put them steps down here and uh, as it's one CNC works out where it's going down there originally I put a 0.5 step down to show you now if the distance between this last toolpath and then this toolpath let's say it wasn't 0.5 let's imagine saying it was 0.2 but because we've told it if we edit the operation we've told it to find the flat area because there's only point 0.2 there and we put a point 0.5 step so what one CNC is found that lowest point which is find the flat area that's what it's, it means okay let's just go back to there right click and edit operation next 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 and this time I'm going to do maximum step over even if I did it at, to keep it the same select next 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 finish see it's coming down and found that okay let me just take the back plot off that was the original back plot and if I click on there and um, re back plot it again as you can see um, it's a more even cut constantly going across and you can see it's found that bottom area again so that's a more uniform it's um, it's working between that 0.5 so you can make it even less than that if I edit the operation next 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 and I might want to go down there and say 0.2 select next 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 and finish and you can see it's even greater making a more smoother toolpath but it's staying constant across there as it is down the sides You can see it's down at uh, the bottom now. Let 
Okay. Let's take off the original back plot. View all. And what we'll do is we'll uh, simulate that. Select OK. Left click, right click. That's our roughing strategy we had at the beginning. We'll let that rough out. You can see it's stepping back. Down to the next cut. Then stepping back. Minus 28. Stepping back. And the final cut, 39 point. So now you can see the second tool, the first tool's done its roughing, and you can see the second tool, which is doing the Z level finishing. So if I just zoom in, you can see it's just coming in with the ball end and Z level finishing. Let it travel on a bit more. So if you want to do Z level finishing one CNC, this is how we do it. Hopefully that'll help you get started and thank you for watching.